Hey folks, I have got a great story here, some bit of information that's only a couple months old. It needs to have a lot more exposure uh, for several reasons, including the fact that uh, my friends Matt and Romeo from American Patriot News Channel uh, got this guy on their channel and got to interview him for a solid hour, got to ask him real hardball questions, and he answered every one of them spot on uh, i'll give you a little bit of an example of that that if you have not seen american patriot news uh mike mccormick interview uh go watch it folks he is the stenographer uh that worked in the white house for 15 years he wrote on uh, air force one um rode with the presidents for like i said 15 years and uh, transcribed so many uh bits of information including uh documenting uh conversations and so he is one of the guys that would know how obama acted how trump acted and how biden acted and uh listening to matt's 50 something minute long matt and romeo's 50 something minute long show i was just blown away just amazed that they got this guy on their show um but he has definitely been on Fox and several other channels in the last uh, several months. As of March, uh, the story broke uh, actually for the second time at that point. And I think it's about time it breaks again. What we need is for the House and the Senate to be uh, asking this guy, subpoenaing this guy, asking him to come in uh, for a deposition to explain his role and everything he knows and seen about not just Joe Biden, but Obama. And just the 50-something uh, minutes that he was on Matt's show, incriminating evidence all the way around. Uh, Biden's corrupt. Obama's a phony. And Trump is what you see is what you get. And that was his words. Uh, I do encourage everybody to go watch that, that, that video of... Uh, Matt uh, and Romeo's, uh, I guess, yesterday's video. But let's go ahead and get into the story <clears throat> on this. Uh, there's a couple video clips I got here for you, uh, just explaining it a little better than I can. But uh, this guy uh, spilled the beans, and most of the media just squished the story, to be honest with you folks. Uh, that's why we need to revive it, need to bring it up in Congress need to get people answering questions about why this went on in such in this various way meantime a former obama white house official says he wants to testify to a federal grand jury because he says he has information about then vice president joe biden's role in his son hunter's business but he says the fbi has been ignoring him former obama stenographer mike mccormick joins us now mike thanks for being here you say you are a witness to a crime walk us through why you say that yes hi ashley hi todd thanks for having me sure so in tw in april 2014 i was an air force two with joe biden and jake sullivan at the time no one knew that hunter biden was already on the board of burisma holdings the natural gas conglomerate from ukraine Joe Biden is directing Jake Sullivan in the front of the plane what to say to the press. My job as a stenographer on the plane is to record what the vice president or a senior administration official says to the press. So I'm sitting back there with the tape recorder. Jake Sullivan comes back and somebody asks him about fracking. The, his answer is, well, we're bringing a lot of American assistance over for fracking. Burisma was the direct beneficiary of that fracking. And that's what I recorded. And that's in a White House transcript. In the, in the transcript, you don't know who Jake Sullivan is. It's a senior administration official. I'm the witness that says Jake Sullivan is the guy who said it. And he should be investigated. Because at the time, Hunter Biden was on the board of Burisma. And Joe Biden is bringing American taxpayer money to enrich that company and himself and his family. Not to get off track here, folks, but <clears throat> I've been thinking 
there are some things that uh, we probably don't know yet about the Bidens as far as their scandals, other countries they've done business with. But, uh, let's get back into this, folks. But I do want to let y'all know that uh, this is just one more piece of the puzzle as far as I'm concerned. Uh, hopefully, James Comer and uh, Jim Jordan will subpoena this guy. Or at least ask him to come in. He said he would voluntarily come in. He said that on Matt and uh, Romeo's show. He's just waiting on the uh, piece of paper to hit his mailbox. Uh, he has definitely uh, wrote a couple of books about all of this in the past. But for the most part, his story has not been told. Most people don't know about this. And that's why I'm bringing it to you today. And that's why I just hope, encourage everybody to go look in the link in the description down below uh, to watch the full video, including if you want to investigate a little further as far as uh, this guy's uh, credibility. There's many other uh, news videos about this very thing. Let's get back into it. the plane what to say to the press my job as a stenographer on the plane is to record what the vice president or a senior administration official says to the press so i'm sitting back there with a tape recorder and he should be investigated because at the time hunter biden was on the board of burisma and joe biden is bringing american taxpayer money to enrich that company and himself and his family yeah, Mike, let me throw in a few dates here. Hunter joins the Burisma board April 18th, 2014. You have that conversation with Jake Sullivan April 21st, 2014, uh, outlining how the U.S. would help Ukraine's gas industry with Joe Biden's help. Hunter's role not made public till May 12th, 2014. And then in December of that year, Congress approves $50 million to support Ukraine's energy sector. Ashley. You know, Mike, my biggest question is, you said the FBI has been ignoring you. It's, it's no secret right now that people don't have a lot of faith in the FBI. Would you tell them and would they say back to you? Well, that's, that's a great question, Ashley. Um, I came across this story back in October. I published it in my Substack. My Substack is Midnight in the Laptop of Good and Evil. I didn't hear much about it. In February, I went to the FBI and filed one of their tips on their website. If you do that and you're lying to them, you go to jail. I'm not lying. I'm telling the truth, and I'm not going to jail. Joe Biden is a criminal. He was conducting malfeasance in office to enrich his family. Jake Sullivan is a conspirator in that. And there's more, uh, there's more Obama officials involved in it, I believe. So you are willing to go under oath to state that you are certain that this was a kickback scheme that Joe Biden was orchestrating, correct? Correct. There's a grand jury right now in in uh, Wilmington, Delaware. They've been seated for three years with a special prosecutor named David Weiss. If David Weiss can't have me in front of his grand jury explaining what I know as a witness, that's a fraudulent grand jury. It's a fraudulent use of the American judicial system to cover for Barack Obama and Joe Biden. Wow, right there, folks. That was where the rubber meets the road. He is calling uh, David Weiss out. If you can't call me up there for a witness to testify against Joe Biden, then you're just a fraud. Uh, this is not a real investigation because I got the dirt. I got the dirt. Now, there's a lot more to the interview, folks. Uh, this all come from a Gateway Pundit, or not a Gateway Pundit, a uh, Fox News article. Meantime, before folks, is a little bit of Matt Romeo and Mr. Mike McCormick, uh, stenographer, whistleblower, uh, 15 years in the White House. Just one of the questions they happened to ask him that I thought was spot on. Uh, I do encourage everybody to go watch this full interview. Uh, it was mind blowing just the information this guy involved with the questions they asked. House committee, have you on the witness uh, uh, to come in and uh, be a witness? I haven't seen my name on the witness list. People ask me a lot if I've talked to the House Oversight Committee. My, my uh, response is always, I have nothing to report on that at this time. Okay. 
Uh, the other thing that kind of gets me is uh, uh, Jake Sullivan. He seems to be in the middle of a lot of stuff, not with just Joe Biden, but also with Hillary Clinton with her campaign in 2016 with Russiagate and stuff like that. I wonder if you want to talk about that for a minute. Yeah, I mean, I worked with Jake a little bit, and it really surprised me that he was that dumb to get himself in that much trouble standing on a plane next to a guy recording every word and incriminate himself. I mean, he comes off, you know, he sort of presents himself as this Ivy League foreign policy whiz kid. But it was just pretty basic, stupid stuff to get yourself in trouble standing next to a guy who's recording what you said when you were doing something illegal with Joe Biden. So that's what I know about Jake. Um, he was very involved uh, uh, right up. He, he left, actually, um, he left working for Joe about two months after about three months after uh, we went to Ukraine. So in about June, July of that summer, he left and went to work for Hillary. And then he's since come back as um, uh, Joe's um, national security advisor, very involved in the Russia hoax, very involved with Hillary Clinton's reelection campaign, which flopped. And, you know, so, I mean, or not her reelection, her election campaign, which flopped in 2016. Right. So this is a guy who has a lot of inside dirt, uh, in the Democratic Party. And, you know, he's just the wrong guy at the wrong time, the wrong place right now. That's just an example, folks, of uh, one of the many questions they got to ask this guy for 50 something minutes. Uh, like I said, just go check it out, folks. Uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description below uh, to their channel if you don't already know Matt and Romeo. But uh, great interview, very insightful. And I can't believe this guy is not testifying for the house since he has been on the news uh maybe we can get a little more uh, activation to make it go that way and if you do live in texas like myself and you received one of these uh cards in the mail that's uh with a picture of uh, donald trump jr and ken paxton on it that says if you fold this off put a stamp on it fill it out give us your email and all your information uh and check yes uh, to sign the petition to uh, keep Ken Paxton in office and uh, send this petition to uh, the Senate and the House in Texas here. And uh, so I got one being, being uh, here in Central Texas. But if you do happen to be one of my listeners that lives in Texas and gets one of these things in the mail before you uh, discard it as junk mail, Put one of those 32 cent stamps on the thing and uh, fill it out, send it back. Uh, Ken Paxton needs all the help he can get right now. Uh, they're trying to impeach him over the fact that uh, he's the only one standing in the way from Democrats uh, doing what they can to rob us of our election integrity here in Houston, Fort Worth, and the big cities where they've had shenanigans happen before. And that's all I'll say about that. But like, subscribe, and share to the Patriots. Over and out.